Now well, let's go into like our favorite characters. Um, uh, out of the people who have been part of the gang, who do you think is your favorite character and why? Okay. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. So, I mean, I've been a massive fan of, you know, obviously uh, Scooby for a long time. You know, I think that he's like a lovable mascot. But if I were to choose between the four teenagers, uh, definitely Velma, because I just like the way that she was able to put together all of the ideas and clues and being able to come up with um, ideas of how they were able to solve the mystery. So I really did enjoy that. <sighs> Velma. <laughs> I like Velma a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. my favorite. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like uh, the snarky, brainy girl. Oh, uh, you know, it's got it's got to be Scooby. Got to be Scooby and Shaggy. You know, it's yeah, you know, it's a title character. They eat they eat sandwiches. Uh, she eats sandwiches. I mean, I'm almost Shaggy, but not a stoner. <laughs> Listen, you, you you know you know with me anytime we have an opinion on something i'm always the opposite of you yeah you you, you know where i'm going with about my favorite character right yeah is your favorite character scrappy scrappy oh, you would man. get so much shit for that i know i i actually don't think scrappy's that bad i think he's overhated and Absolutely. i told that i told that to somebody one time and they're like, oh, I disagree with you heavily on that. That Why did you even say that? And I'm like, it's, it's like, it's true. Well, Tim Curry was originally supposed to be the main bad guy for that first Scooby-Doo movie until he found out Scrappy was in it, and then he backed out. Oh. Can you imagine <laughs> that? that oh, crazy. man. It's, it sucks. I really like Tim Curry. He's just like, he's just like oh, Scrappy-Doo is going to be in it. I'm out, man. Oh, yeah, he he, that's where they got the the Mr. Bean instead. He plays oh, Tim Curry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Dude, yeah, that no, movie he... would have been so different with Tim Curry. Oh my god, it would have been. Oh. It's Tim Curry. He's got like he, you know, he's got like, he plays evil well. Right. He plays evil really well, and it. Funny, I didn't know until recently he voiced uh, Nigel Thornberry. I know he. You would have. You would never thought. Yeah. You never thought. Yeah, yeah, no. Now that I listen to it, it's like, yeah, that's totally Tim Curry. Anything was kind of scrappy in it. I was like a big fan of, mm -hmm. uh, except for the shorts when they were doing like the the three episode segments. That was kind of like a downfall. But if it was like core, the original Mystery Inc. and Scrappy, like that, that was kind of my kind of my favorite episodes. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Pub Name Scooby Doo is also good too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Pub but... Name Scooby Doo is so great. I love a Pub Name Scooby Doo. It's mm -hmm. like a good, good parody, but like also like gives good to good idea to the franchise. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Scooby Dumb and Scrappy. I like the kind of additional dogs to the to the group. Um, yeah, yeah. It's you know, actually funny because, you know, there's always that massive debate about like, you know, is this did Scrappy do ruin the franchise, which believe it or not, some people may not even know this, but Scrappy ended up saving the franchise right. because it was at a time in which when um a, a, you know nbc and abc didn't want to air scooby-doo anymore because the, the ratings were low and so they needed to come up with a a new idea of bringing in some creativity and freshness and so they thought hey let's just add this young kid character into the series and so that's how scrappy-doo came to be and he literally saved the series from going under uh yeah absolutely i think and i think he adds a different element to it whereas like you know, the the formula was the same for so many seasons where when he came in, it's like it gives gives them like another person, another dynamic for the the, the Scooby and Shaggy di uh duo. You know, yeah. turning them into a trio, it, it it gives them more to do, it gives them uh it changes up the status quo a little bit. Yeah, and I know a lot of people were really disappointed when Fred, Velma, and Daphne left, and it was just Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy. But, I mean, I can understand from at that point on, they were the popular characters, and so they wanted to keep them in, and, and so much into the point in which they were included in uh, three of the Hanna-Barbera Superstars 10 movies, which right. was Boo Brothers, and The Reluctant Werewolf, and Ghoul School. Yeah, Ghoul School is still a classic. Yeah, in fact, it's funny because 
uh, you know, Ghoul School pretty much just got a major renaissance when it was featured on OKKO, OK mm -hmm. and everybody like loves drawing the uh, the girls, you know, because yeah. they have like really interesting designs. Right, I love it. It's still one of my childhood favorites. One mm -hmm. of my first introductions to the show. Yeah. Um. So I, it, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say because um, and, um, probably a reason why was because it aired a lot on Cartoon Network. I had on VHS. Oh, nice. I had, I had about four different copies of that VHS. So that, that was, that was, I wore it out. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that'll do for today's episode of the Nerd Talk podcast. Thank you for being here and making the show a part of your week. I want to thank the people on the panel today with me. Uh, Miss Patricia, how can people find you? All right. You can check me out on oldschoollane.net. Um, I, I have a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash oldschoollane. I have a lot of other places you can check me out. At. I have, I'm on Facebook. Uh, I'm on X. I'm on Instagram. Uh, you can check out the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Amazon Music, uh, all those places. Uh, new episodes will go there first, and then they'll go up in a few days on YouTube. Um, right now, we're going to be doing a series of new podcasts called Old Spook Lane, which is a series of spooky topics uh, in uh, you know in conjunction with Halloween. Uh, you can check out uh, the several years I've done that. Uh, we did various movies and TV shows from Are You Afraid of the Dark when we talked about the three um, live action movies. We did uh, Tim Burton Month last year. So if you want to go check that out. I also did a Scooby-Doo podcast uh, on my own five years ago, actually, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Scooby-Doo. I had that long haired creepy guy, as we mentioned earlier. And I had Taylor Wyatt, a.k.a. Y Boy from Toon Grin, who also did the scooby doo doo Corner. Um, we talked about Scooby-Doo. We talked about our favorite incarnations, favorite characters, all that stuff. I also even talked about Scoob, which was the 2020 movie that uh, came out during the pandemic. So, yes, um, Scooby-Doo is uh, something that we've talked about on Old School Lane, if you want to listen to more of our thoughts on it. So, yeah, uh, again, Remington, thank you so much for having, uh, having me on by. I, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I I am still on Twitter, you know, like just more like just I got I got settled in there. And, you know, even though it sucks, I'm, st I, I'm still calling it Twitter. I refuse to call it X. I just think that's <laughs> a stupid name. I'm, I'm old. I can be I can be stubborn and cantankerous about this sort of thing. <laughs> and uh mostly i'm i'm there nowadays i don't use facebook anymore i do have an instagram account but uh yeah that's pretty much it i've fallen behind on social media you know like got got busy with uh life and work and so forth so uh are you still posting on patreon yes or, okay yes. Uh -huh. i do have a patreon as well you clicked on this podcast with the scooby-doo title i'm sure you've seen his videos it's hard it's hard not to know him he's a legend in youtube kind of review sphere so i'm i'm really not that's like i really wasn't i like i was very obscure like the most i think people did remember me for was either scooby-doo or gem <laughs> when i was reviewing the gem and the holograms cartoon show but uh thank you very much for having me this was a lot of fun i i i do enjoy talking about scooby-doo like i said it's probably the franchise that I have been a part of the longest, you know, and, uh, well, thank you for coming on it. Thank you, Gareth, for joining us. Where can I find you on, on social media? Uh, you can find me on uh, YouTube. Uh, I do have an X. Uh, I don't post on that often. I do get some, uh, I do uh, post some spicy stuff on there. Mostly my, uh, takes on certain situations. Nothing I'm too blocked by almost every film critic on, on X. <laughs> uh, Blockbuster Buster blocked me. Linkara, um, Linkara blocks everyone. He Linkara is like he's kind of a baby. <laughs> Doug 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 Walker doesn't like me. He he hates my guts. Did I tell you at Kineticon, he was so mad at me he that I that I got there. So he he kept like he was doing one of the one of the panels or something. He was like dodging me, and so I went up to him. He goes, "What are you doing in my boot? In my booth?" I said, oh, well, I came here to get your dad's autograph. And it, like, <laughs> hurt his ego. You can see it hurt his ego so badly. Yeah. You oh, man. I you know I am with guests. People don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, YouTube and X, uh, Garris Mod. Uh, I, guess I, I posted a gaming video a few days ago. I'm working on a Space Marine 2 video right now. 
Uh, that should hopefully be out on uh, Saturday. My name is Robin DeKaiser. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye.